After sex nor mesmeri, I normally doubt to prevent STIs and also to keep my vagina heady. Is this advisable? Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about douching. What is the meaning of douching? For those that don't know what douching is, I'm going to be explaining it. And also, I'm going to be explaining the effect of douching. Is douching really good? Is it bad? Does it really help to prevent STIs? Does it really help to prevent unwanted pregnancy? Does it really help to keep the vagina healthy? I'm going to be explaining all these things in this video. But before we go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary say thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we are going to be talking about douching. The first question is, what is douching? For those that don't know what douching is all about, Douching is simply using water, using some mist substances or fluid to wash the inside of the vagina. Most ladies get confused with the difference between the vagina and the vulva. As a lady, the vulva is everything you can see when you go look down there. Everything you can see, which includes the labia minora, the labia majora, the clitoris, and also the opening of the vagina. That is the vulva. But the vagina is that hole where the penis goes in and out. That is the vagina. So the vagina, when you use water or any substance to wash the vagina with the mindset of either um, doing some hygiene stuff, with the mindset of removing bacteria, that is what we mean by douching. Douching is simply the washing out of the inside of the vagina. It is different entirely from the washing out of the entrance of the vagina. I hope you now understand what douching is in case you've been doing it and you don't know the name for it. So when I did my mini research, I found out that ladies douch for the following reasons. One, they feel that douching cleans the vagina. Two, they feel that douching prevents sexually transmitted infection. So some douch before and after sex. Some feel that douching will help to wash out the sperm after sexual intercourse and help them prevent unwanted pregnancy. Some also feel that douching helps to prevent vagina inching and vagina odor. Some also feel that vouching helps, douching helps to prevent yeast infection and bacterial vaginosis. Does douching really do this? But by the end of this video, we are going to get an answer to that question. But I want to tell you why you should not douch. Yes, for those that have been watching our video, I have always told, told the house, don't wash the inside of the vagina, but you can use warm water to wash the entrance of the vagina. Why we say don't wash the inside of the vagina is because one, the vagina is self-cleansing. The vagina is designed to clean itself by itself. The vagina, the vagina is designed to wash itself by itself. It does not need you to use any water. It does not need you to use any fluid. It does not need you to use any uh, chemicals on it. It is self-cleansing. Outside the fact that the vagina is self cleansing Whenever a lady douch, some things happen. Some things go wrong. In the sense that when they douch, the normal floral of the vagina is being altered. And also, the acidic environment of the vagina is being altered. This acidic environment helps to protect the vagina. Helps to protect this vagina from irritation. Helps to prevent, protect it from infection. So when you doubt, you are altering this acidic nature of the vagina. You are altering the normal floral of the vagina. For those that have been watching our video, I made mention of the fact that the vagina is made up of both a good bacteria 
add the bad bacteria. But when you dodge, you are increasing the percentage of the bad bacteria and which is not good for you. That is why most ladies, they will tell you, oh, I treated infection last month. I treated infection this month. Not knowing that it's not really infection that is the problem. The problem is that they are altering the normal pH of the vagina that makes them continuously inch every day that makes them continuously inch every time taking its infection yes i don't advise you douch for the following reasons one it increases the the percentage of the bad bacteria in a lady's vagina so don't douch the second reason is that it increases your chances of going down with yeast infection and also bacterial vaginosis Thirdly, it increases the chances of you getting infection of the uterus, infection of the, of the fallopian tube, infections of the ovaries, and these are your female reproductive system. So because when, during the process of douching, during the process of introducing those fluids, they can travel up. And when they travel up, they go to your uterus. They might go to your uterus, which is your womb. They might go to the fallopian tube. And they might go to those bacteria that might get to the ovaries. And that is not nice. It might not lead to uh, fertility issues. Fertility issues. Pregnancy issues. You start having, even if the woman gets pregnant, you see chances of preterm labor, ectopic pregnancy. These, like, things like this tend to pop up as a result of douching. And that can, and you know, recurrent infection, like I've always said in my previous video, can result in pelvic inflammatory disease. And pelvic inflammatory disease can cause scar in the fallopian tube. And when there's a scar, fertility might be a problem. I'm not saying when you doubt, you are going to be infected. I'm just telling you when you doubt, it increases the chances of certain things happening. So the questions I got, I would like to answer with this doubting video is... Does one get rid of vaginal odor with douching? The answer is no. One does not get rid of vaginal odor with douching. Then the other question was, does not vaginal, uh, does not douching cleanse the vagina? The answer is no. Douching does not cleanse the vagina. The vagina is safe clean see it's it cleanses itself the vagina does not want to stress you so i see no reason why you should take water down inside you can clean the surface it's better but don't go inside trying to clean it it cleanses itself by itself then the third question i got i actually dropped it here so that i can answer or once and for all in this video it said what is the best way to clean the vagina the best way to clean the vagina is to leave it alone and practice safe sex yeah leave the vagina alone you can clean the surface you can wash your vulva but leave the inside of your vagina alone leave it in peace then the other question it says does this prevent sexually transmitted infection after sex no 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 douching does not wash the um the this infection away after sex even if you wash immediately after sex that doesn't mean it's going to remove all the infection it's going to remove hiv it's going to remove gonorrhea it's going to remove stuff no 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 that thing does not do that then the other one says does douching prevent pregnancy no it does not some ladies have this mindset that after sex a man releases into them the next thing is to use their hands to dash and remove the sperm my sister, it's not going to work that way. So, douching does not prevent all this. For those ladies that do douching, please and please, it is advisable not to do it. But practice your normal good hygiene by washing your vulva with a clean, warm water. You are good to go. No need to put irritant, no need to wash inside the vagina. Please and please. Because why I'm saying this is that a lot of ladies have abused antibiotics all in the name of their treating infection. They have because whenever they see inch, they inch. They say, Oh, I am having infection. They inch again tomorrow. I am having infection. They inch next tomorrow. I am having infection. They go on taking antibiotics, they go on taking antifungi without proper test, not knowing that. This inching is as a result of frequent douching that is altering the normal vaginal pH. I actually got this idea because of the questions I'm getting on my inbox and also how we've been able to tackle it. I hope this video helped you understand why you should not douch. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Let's go. Bye.